New Year guys happy new year to you welcome to my channel thank you for joining me today uh, today is January 3rd when this video was posted so today in this video I'm going to be tinting a Dollar Tree glass today this vase that you see here and a smaller vase that you're going to see later I'm going to create two ideas using Dollar Tree items I'm going to be hopefully if I can find them using more Dollar Tree items this year and I'm also going to be showing you some new ideas I'm going to be uh, doing with tinting glass. So please look forward to that. Okay, so I'm going to get started. So I have one cylinder vase from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using some food coloring that I picked up from Amazon. And the color I'm using today is black. I'm going to be using one small cup from the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree cups come in as a set of six. So I'm going to be using my clear gel tacky glue, some water, I'm also going to be soaking my brush in the water and I'm going to use that uh, plastic just to stir the mixture. So I'm going to use like one teaspoon of clear gel tacky glue. I'm going to use one cap full of water. I'm going to stir that and I'm going to blend it really well. Now I'm going to add one drop of the black food coloring and I'm going to blend that again. And as you can see, it doesn't look black. It is a deep color purple. And I'm just gonna add one more drop and I'm just gonna blend that really well. So first I'm going to use a little bit of alcohol and a paper towel and clean the inside of the vase. And start working from the bottom and pull that food coloring mixture to the top edge of the vase. I'm going to do this all the way around the vase. I did add three more drops of the black food coloring to the leftover mixture because I wanted to create a darker vase. I realized it's not going to get dark until I added a little bit more of the food coloring. And so here is what that looks like. So I'm just going to just add it to the vase. Allow that to dry for a few minutes. So after about five minutes, this is a mixture of black and silver glitter. I sprinkle a little bit of that into the vase while it's still wet. And I'm going to also add a little bit of platinum colored silver or a bright color silver glitter. I'm going to sprinkle that all around the vase. And then I'm going to turn the vase over and allow that to completely dry.
So guys, this is what that looks like. This is completely done. And honestly, I think it doesn't really look that tinted, even though when it was wet, it did look really dark. So here is my candlestick holder that I painted earlier. And what I'm going to do is just add a thin line of silver marker to the edge, just to give it a little bit more color. And guys, what I did with this, after this was completely dry and the project was finished, I did come back and add silver paint because this silver marker looks sort of flat and it doesn't have that glossy painted look that I like. And I'll show you that later in the video. Next, I'm going to use this Dollar Tree silver ribbon. I'm going to cut off just enough to cover the top and the bottom. And I'm going to adhere that with a little bit of hot glue. I also used my silver Sharpie marker to add a little bit of color to the top rim of the vase. I'm going to take a cap from a can of hairspray I'm going to place my black Sharpie marker on top of it and I'm going to draw a line around the vase. And I'm going to use some black paint, paint the lower half of the vase. After that has dried, I'm going to take a little bit of my uh, clear gel tacky glue and apply it to the upper part of the vase, but I'm going to add the glue to the inside of the vase and then I'm going to add a mixture of that silver glitter and that black glitter. So now that that's dry, I'm going to add a strip of the silver ribbon around the middle of this vase. I'm going to adhere that with some hot glue. So lastly, I'm going to add some lights to the tall base.
Here is where I added my silver metallic paint to the base of the candlestick holder. So this looks really nice and looks much better than the marker. So guys, this is it for the project and it came out absolutely beautiful. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Happy New Year. Happy blessed New Year to each and every one of you. Please don't forget to thumbs up this video and please don't forget to subscribe. You stay well, stay safe, and stay blessed. And I will see you at the next video. Bye-bye.